Hi, I'm Jerry Haas. I manage the weight loss program here at La Jolla Cosmetic and I'm here today with Dr. Salazar. We have patients that after they lose a certain amount of weight, they may have issues with excess skin or skin laxity. And what are some of the surgical interventions or options for those type of patients? Thanks so much, Jerry. And, and thanks for opening this topic. I think it's really important. I mean, we're very excited at La Jolla Cosmetic when we started this program. And now what we're seeing is, as you're pointing out, patients reaching that goal that for their weight. And they start to notice, not all of them, but some of them, they start to notice that there is some skin laxity in different body parts or that they're losing more fat in certain areas uh, that they like the volume that that fat was providing. We can talk of different body contouring procedures that can make our patients feel better. So for instance, if they develop excess skin in the abdomen, you can talk about a tummy tuck, sometimes a mini tummy tuck, or a regular tummy tuck, or sometimes even a fleur-de-lis tummy tuck. And that one, with that surgery, you remove a lot of excess skin, but only when it's needed. Also, you have the breast. Patients lose some volume when they lose, they lose some breast volume. And this mainly goes for female patients that are in the program that they start losing some of that upper pole fullness. And sometimes we can talk about a breast augmentation even, or we can talk about a breast lift. And it all depends as well on the age of the patient. The arms, the thighs, a thigh lift, a brachioplasty, which is an arm lift, even a neck lift sometimes. So different body parts, different issues, and especially it's tied up completely to how much weight the patients are losing. What's the right time frame to consider doing something with excess skin surgically? I would say whenever they're really, really close to their goal, whatever that is. It, it does not need to be the ideal body mass index that they need to be in, but what, whenever you and the patient, wherever you determine as the final goal, when they're really close to that, is when we can start um, addressing their concerns. The last thing that you want is for them to reach a plateau, get surgery, and then continue losing weight, and then developing extra skin. So that, that would be devastating. Right. So definitely when they're close to their goals. What are some of the factors that you look at or consider when you're looking at someone for body contouring surgery? Definitely that they're close to their goal for their weight. It's mm -hmm. really important that they're really close so we know exactly the piece of marble they're gonna be, mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to be working with. The other are medical factors, of course, that the patients are healthy and also when patients are in our program of weight loss, we're already checking all those different factors of health or other comorbidities or other problems that they can potentially have. Another one is their nutrition status. We're losing weight, but we don't want anybody with malnutrition. We want them to be healthy because if we're going to be making incisions, we want them to heal those incisions yeah. correctly. And as you know, that's key that their protein level is perfect so they can heal all the surgeries and they can be happy with their results. Can you describe what would be the normal recovery process that someone might go through? after they're having body contouring surgery. So depending on how many areas of the body we're uh, addressing and how invasive the procedure is might vary. Seven to 10 days at the most, three weeks for no exercise, but definitely patients recover and they're ready to go around four or five weeks out of 100%. So I know some patients may be uh, concerned about uh, incisional scars or uh, wound healing after body contouring surgery, what would you say to those patients? So I would say for them not to fear. Uh, body contouring, yes, it carries the need for having some incisions, mm -hmm. but um, we close our incisions in three different layers. So de we decrease the amount of tension on that incision to try to create the thinnest scar. Patients take over the healing, and then during that process, we follow up those patients so closely. We see them the day after surgery, the week after surgery, three weeks after surgery, three months after surgery, or even at closer intervals if they need to. And we're always paying attention to the scar. We give them tips, tricks, and ointments to apply on those incisions. And if we need to intervene, 
we also have some aids to improve the scarring. Yeah. So they shouldn't fear that. So after the surgery is done, what post-op care do you recommend? So um, we are, we pay a lot of attention to the post-op period because mm -hmm. that is when the results are gonna continue to be molding. So mm -hmm. we give patients compression garments. They don't have to be worried about where to get them. We get those for them. We recommend a lymphatic massage after certain procedures. That's also very important. We ask them, we give them some restrictions in terms of no exercise, and it's important that they follow up. We are so close, we work so close with them that step by step, they will know exactly what to do mm -hmm. after their surgery. A patient loses their weight. They're considering having surgery, body contouring surgery. Why at La Jolla Cosmetic? Well, Dr. Haas, other than our 36 years of providing excellent care, the fact that they're gonna have their surgery performed by a board certified plastic surgeon, the real deal plastic surgeon. Two, we have only board certified anesthesiologists taking care of them during surgery. And three, they're gonna have their surgery in a accredited center. So for practical purposes, when you say quad A accreditation, what you're talking about for patients to really understand this is the same level of accreditation that the outpatient surgery centers of different hospitals have. So it's a real safe place to have surgery.